Hello, and this is day 38. I welcome you. And in this room of the thumbnail room, there's one thing that's missing for a long, long time, which I kind of avoided to add it, but I don't really have that much idea what items to add instead of improving my items. So as today I decided, yeah, let's add this one missing thing. And this will be uh, the lights. And yeah, I never actually did a lot with colors and lighting. I al al always like only uh, try to uh, make lines, but I do avoid a lot of coloring stuff, which I don't think it's, it's a good idea, but I, I literally cannot focus too much on a lot of things. Then I did try it to do some lightning on the thumbnail, I used just, I don't know, like base color light and then uh, Gaussian blue with some uh, layer effects on it. I still experiment with those, like the lighting from the monitor looked good, uh, but from the window kind of misses the point. Also the shadow, uh, even if Probably you will use multiplayer, uh, multiplayer uh, layout, uh, uh, oval, overlay thing stuff. What do you call it? And it doesn't matter. Even if you would use multiply, I, I don't know wh what exactly multiply does. And I just went with gray multiply. I don't think this is the point of multiply if I think right now. I think multiply is just you pick a color and it will become shadow by itself. Yeah, whatever. Then, uh, but actual plan of today was something differently. So the plan of today was actually uh, uh, looking at the more of Genshin character and uh, general drawings and trying to, just, you know, by, by doing figure out uh, how the guidelines work because kind of hard to use guidelines if you don't really have the 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 picture before you to see what those guidelines even help. I think this is how I, that, what I was thinking about. And I will definitely maybe make me do it more later on, but I got extremely sidetracked with this mapping pen and trying to match the, the katakana here in this uh, case. I really got sidetracked. It. I spent like too much time of it. I will not bother you, but uh, yeah, mapping pen with pressure levels is just a fun tool to use. I I don't know. I have I had a lot of fun to to use the tool. So in the future, I will probably just stick to my thumbnail as a warm up and then skip those lines or like don't do it on stream. Just do it. I don't know. I can do it if I do something else on the side. And then I make a break and did what I actually planned for today but it was already a little bit late so I only managed to do one character a little bit quickly and it is Ito my favorite character as for time recording this uh, we have a new Ito patch in Genshin so I'm very uh, happy about this uh, like his hair, he does remind me on uh, Jiraiya from Naruto a little bit. And uh, speaking of hair, this is like the prominent time I wanted to focus on, but I also just ended up trying to, uh, to sketch him up. And uh, it's, I think it's like sketching up from uh, from the pages is uh, also funny because I, I see it how it looks and I be like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just a funny thing to do too. I also had fun uh, sketch up the Arbato and just <laughs> how Arbato turned out to be. One thing that I wanted to point out is the arm here is if you, if you like have your arm stretched out and bent towards the camera and you're like if you think of boxes it becomes like smaller. Uh, this is what I noticed despite not uh, knowing how to draw apps. Uh, this uh, I noticed uh, this is like the arm, like stretched arm is okay, but once you start to move towards the camera, I don't know how the box, uh, uh, like how the 
form uh, that get changed and this is again to my lack of knowledge of how to rotate the box I, like i didn't draw boxes for a long time so maybe um time to draw some more boxes but i think this is for a day i it, it turned out to be longer than i expected and i thank you for watching listening and wish you a great day night afternoon and see you next day